Hello guys, uh, we go again with uh, Microsoft and today I want to show you how we can interact, how we can uh, correct data, how we can uh, collaborate online using Excel sheet, how we can use an Excel sheet online to enter data yeah, so that everyone can see the progress. Yeah, as usual, we open a browser and uh, uh, we just go to the office, www.office.com. And as we, we do every day, we click on nine dot to access uh, the apps, uh, but also we can even access Excel sheet uh, without just clicking on nine dot by passing here media tree or you can make just click on up to access the excel sheet to access the excel sheet and as i said it's the way an easy way of collaborating using excel once you are you want to correct some data and uh, you just want everyone with the the data depending on the place uh, where it is located he can fill the form he can just fill the sheet he can complete the excel sheet uh, maybe you can be in eastern province somebody else in the uh, western province but using this Excel online, you just uh, you can enter your data, you can correct your data and type them in Excel. If you are teachers, you can use this to correct marks. Yeah, maybe you have somebody to type or somebody to work on reports at school, but you just want marks. The way to give him marks is to just using the excel sheet online so that everyone everyone wherever he is he just enter uh, through link and uh, type the marks and the one with the the link and immediately collect the marks he can immediately download the form and and uh, do whatever he want with the the marks or the data yeah, so we open the sheet. We open the sheet. We click on Excel, and after clicking on Excel, will be uh, prompt with this uh, window. Here there is a new, a new blank workbook. Because we just don't want to edit the 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 one we did uh, we had before, we're just going to create a new. A new uh, blank workbook. We click on new. I'm just going to show you how you can uh, create this sheet and share the link to collaborate with your fellows. Yeah, so you see it here. It is a it is an Excel. As we are I used it to have. Uh, just to see, we have uh, an Excel sheet as the Excel that we use offline, you have cells, you see cells, uh, we have columns, we have columns, we have loads. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's as if you are using an Excel offline, the one we use always uh, every time in our computers. Yeah, they are the same. The the difference is that this one is uh, is being used online, and uh, another one. It is used offline and a very good link between this the two the sheet online and the excel sheet offline is that you can even copy the data you just uh, you just uh, structured offline and copy them on this in this sheet online to edit them and immediately send the link to uh, to your ferrules to enter the data online. Let me, for example, use this one. 
you see these are the data uh, these are the data of students that I have offline you see this sheet is offline I just can copy this I can copy to paste it online just copy and I go back to online and I immediately copy you can see you see now I have the the data that I, I had offline and now I pasted them, I copied them and paste online in online Excel. You can edit as we do. You see it is it is it's as if we have an Excel offline and uh, you edit you know how to edit it. You see, for example, yeah, you can you can merge and center. You see, this is the first time you can merge and center by just clicking here once you want to merge uh, copy uh, cells on Ryan you see this is where we click to merge yeah to merge and center you see I can merge the two cells and the center the first time you click OK you see they are merged I can even do the same here Yeah, it's okay. You see, it's very simple. You can just edit this copy on Ryan and and put whatever you want without uh, using this uh, as it is. Let me delete, for example, the titles. Yeah, to add minds, you see, I can delete titles. I can even click here to to insert another row. I can I can insert rows. You can insert another row, for example. You can just edit this sheet as you, as you want, as we always do uh, offline. As you see, you have have home, we have insert, we have draw, we can draw, have page layout, we can just change the orientation to landscape or to portrait. We have formulas, we have data, we have leave you, have view, automate, we can even automate the, our Excel sheet. There is help, there is editing. You can even click here to edit it offline or open it in a desktop app to just keep it offline. Yeah, so uh, I can keep uh, continue editing my sheet. Yeah, we can just do it as we do it offline. You see, I can just you know, add another other uh, other two rows to to put titles. Yeah, for example, you have students, or you have other data that you want to share to people to complete or to fill. Uh, you see here, this is the first time. I can just modify this. For example, you have uh, it's at your school. But it, it just uh, uh, as a template, uh, you can just do whatever you want with the sheet. Uh, for example, there is somebody who is in charge of doing reports, or reports at your school, and you just want to correct the marks of all all students. Wherever the teacher is, instead of just giving him uh, the hard copies. It's very simple to do it online, and he will download an Excel sheet immediately to copy and paste in a in a report software. Yeah, so uh, to do this, let me first, uh, for example, uh, edit this one. Yeah, I can just uh, draw it, uh, make a table. It's very simple. I can do it like this. You see here it's where we click once we want to yeah to board all all cells. Yeah, you see it here. You click here on this down allow to yeah to, to all border. You just all border you see. Yeah, maybe it is uh, let's have another uh, let's have a kind of template. 
and maybe this is our student's name. You can, for example, add a class. Uh, this is a this is a class. Yeah, this is senior one, for example, or let's call it a senior six. Let's call it, for example, senior six MCB, MCB or PCM or whatever. It depends. You can just change the font. Yeah, font size. You can increase it to 16. Yeah, you can just uh, change it to 14 to 12. Yeah, you can just change the font to Times New Romans. Yeah, it is as if we are using the Excel offline MCB. You can even border. You see, you can border. Here it is. Uh, you can just border if you want. And after this, let us. Uh, you need just to add courses so that this class will have full courses. Yeah, for example, every course will have cut or quizzes, uh, and daily work or daily work and uh, exam. Yeah, let us, for example. Uh, yeah, do this like let, let, let us just draw a table. Yeah, like this. Um, we maybe just want to. Maybe we are going to start with mathematics. We just have to merge the two cells. Let us merge them. We just have to merge them to add the mathematics. We merge and center. And you type mathematics, uh, maths. Yeah, you see, they once you share the ring, the teacher of mathematics will just type we, we, using the ring the card to every student. You can even use a mobile phone and the exam. Yeah, let me uh, just change it to Times New Roman to have the same format. Yeah, maybe the teacher of chemistry also can try this. Can do this with uh, you can merge and center. You can merge and center and type chemistry. Yeah, this is the very simple way to collect your maxes from every teacher from every way. It can be in Western province, it can be in Rwanda or outside the country, but he just have to, to type the max. And it is very easy for the the one who is correcting the marks is because uh, it will be e uh, easy for him to to just copy maybe the columns to copy and paste in the software he is use he just will be using. Yeah, so you can here send merge and center, okay, merge and center, and the type uh, uh, biology. Biology. Yeah, you can you can continue to. Uh, let me again fill the table by all bordering. Yeah, you can just copy the same. Let me copy this. You see. Yeah, I can imagine the. And center and after biology, they can be having entrepreneurship. After entrepreneurship, they can be having you can merge and center. Yeah, they can be having uh, general yeah, skills and communication. General studies and the communication skills. And they can even have uh, have other subjects like other subjects like uh, like religion. They can be uh, they can have sport. You see, you can even scroll right or left. Yeah, you can just. Continue to add the courses. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, you can just uh, continue to add courses to have a complete a complete sheet of all courses, so that once you share the 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 once you share the link, every teacher with the link, he will just check his subject and uh, just type the marks. He can type them, he can copy them from his uh, cell, from his computer offline and copy it online and immediately they will be saved. They will be saved, there is no need to save online. Wh whatever you type in this sheet, it will immediately be saved itself. There is auto saving on one drive. And uh, once it is here, everyone with the link will see the, the progress. You will see that the teacher of math uh, has uh, had already, has already uh, typed the marks, has already typed the data if it is uh, a data correction. I'm just uh, using the template as if I'm just uh, uh, typing the marks, but you can even use the sheet in whatever you are doing. It must, once it is an Excel sheet, and you want to collaborate with your friends and uh, fellows typing the, the data in the, the sheet. Yeah, let's add, uh, for example, sport. We can add sport. Yeah, we can just merge and center to add sport. To add sport, you can, apart from store, sport, there is a uh, yeah, we can also have ICT, Imagine Center, and you must be familiar on how using the Excel offline, ICT, and I think many, many teachers are now uh, being, uh, you can even delete a column if you don't need it, you see, you can even remove the, the, the column, you just click here, to select and you like to click to do to do whatever you can even click uh, clear content you can uh, wide your column width you can increase the width of the of the column you can just insert another column if you want but if you if you want to delete it you can even click here to delete it uh, this is what we do for uh, on columns and you can just edit allows on this side, you just click here to select. You can light click. You can delete laws. You can uh, create content. You can hide laws. You, 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 if you want, you can even hide. Yeah, you can even formatting numbers. You can insert laws. Yeah, this is Excel, and I think you know many things in Excel. And uh, if you just want to know more, more and more in Excel, offline or online, you just have to type your comments on YouTube. I'll just leave you it and uh, help you as uh, you to do it every day. And uh, you see now we have our sheet with all courses. You can even control A to, to select all. If you want all to be in the same format, maybe you want them to be in a, a collector of 12, you want them to be and times times in man or book you can even use bookman yeah just a bookman all the style bookman all the style if it's there bookman all the style it is not coming very quickly yeah bookman old Pokemon all the style. It doesn't come, but it's there. You see, it's there, it's there. Yeah, you can even control A and uh, use times in yellow man. There is a Tahoma, you use whatever you want. Yeah, you can even copy the format of here. For example, let's copy the format. You have to type it from here to uh, so you see, I copied the format. Yeah, these are these are the skills that you can use in Excel. Yeah, you see, and I can yeah, so a little bit. You can scroll. 
yeah you can just select it to, to border there is different ways of bordering you can just use a double the bottom board uh, the bottom bo uh, bottom double border you can just the yeah, thick border outside yeah you can just thick outside borders you can even draw you can border girl you can use draw border grid you can just add the the thick bottom border whatever you want whatever you want and uh, yeah this is our class of senior six that we are drawing you are just uh, yeah you see it is now done and this column is not needed let me just uh here we have spot oh oh sorry yeah some of them are not merged let me merge them they are not merged but let me do it it's very simple you see you merge them to have the same format and uh, to show that in the every course there is cut on the exam yeah we just imagine center you just imagine center you see and uh, let me do the same here ah sorry let me match and this is i city i can match can match and center you see it and now it's done for senior six it's done for senior six once it's done for senior six let me copy uh, here it is not the right not cuts and exams we are done with the senior six and you are going to do the same in senior five and this is the sheet one you can just rename it and call it call it senior senior six s6 s6 mcb for example yeah this is the first sheet sheet one yeah you can even have add another sheet and let's call it s5 you can even exchange them to have five uh, four five six uh, this is senior five yeah mcb it is another sheet yeah this is a workbook it is a workbook online workbook you can have many sheets on this workbook and it is as if we are doing it offline but it's online but it's the same as we do uh offline you can just uh just to add many sheets depending on the classes you have at your school yeah this is s4 s4 mcb and it's okay yeah it's okay and to simplify the or to to never uh, to not spend more time you see you can even copy here you can copy this format that you did here you copy it and you just paste it in another class to just to keep the time let me for example copy it here you see the same format but you just and they have the same uh, the same uh, courses the same lessons what you do you only clear the name and you add your own uh, the name of the this class you can create a content you see after creating uh, creating the content or oh, I just didn't select the oh I did it yeah and you add here names of student of uh you just edit here the student of senior five and once you are done with the whole school with the whole subject you just share you share the you share the sheet to your fellows to edit you have to just to type the marks everyone can just enter the marks and whoever needs them uh, needs the marks 
through the link you can even copy the maxes and you do your own reports but if there is somebody who is going to to do the reports for everyone and if there is somebody who is going to collect the data for everyone maybe you are not a teacher but you are collecting information you are collecting data uh, from uh, somewhere for example and if you need to just collect the marks or data this is the easy way to do it and immediately you will you will edit it offline but let me see, uh, show you how you can you can share this after adding the all classes all courses cut exam you can even add term one term two to to just do uh, use the same sheet for all the whole year yeah, after this you go to the share how to share this you just click on share you click on share and as we did it on uh, one, one uh, in the previous video uh, I remember it's on OneDrive how to share files you see you just pay attention the, on the settings you see here in this setting anyone with the link can edit once it is like this it means that everyone with the link will be able to type and once you type even the one with the link uh, anyone with the link can see that there is somebody is typing you can type in at the same time even once you are more than 100 and your data will be saved immediately you don't need to wait someone to uh, to just type and you will wait to to type your maxes or your data you just do it anytime you, you just do it anytime and you can do it at the same time even if you are 100 yeah and everyone is just typing the marks in his in the columns that there is his lesson is and uh, it cannot hinder any anybody to type and you will see that somebody is typing i'll share the link and you try to type using another device and you'll just see it yeah, once you just uh, have this setting that everyone with anyone the link with the link can edit it will be easy for everyone to just edit if you have the specific people if there are specific people you want them to share the link you just have to specify them here you just type the names the group if the it's, it's a kind of group that you have on uh, for example teams that you will see later uh, emails you can just type emails of people here to just to share the link with them and everyone with this link on his email or her email will be able to to edit now we just have to copy we need to copy to generate the link you click on copy to generate the link after clicking on copy you see here is the link but different to what we have seen on the on the microsoft forms here there is no option of just uh, there is no option to shorten the link it's better if you go to the website i told you in the previous videos bitree.com and you copy this link to go there to edit to shorten the link let me use this bitree bitree.com and i shorten the link to share it on uh, on whatsapp on email on any social media you can just share the link so that everyone can use it to enter the data in the sheet and the excel sheet and remember this is the microsoft the microsoft sheet this is microsoft sheet you will sometime also see the google sheets and we shall see it later how to use google sheet but this is a microsoft sheet uh, this is microsoft excel online you just click on create and you just paste the link here you see it's very wrong and we need to shorten it we click on we click on create you click on create to see yeah you see now the ring is very short for those who didn't see how we shorten the ring in the previous video this is how we do it we just go to bitly.com and just create and generate 
the NU link, which is very, which is very short. Yeah, we'll copy the link and we share the link in on any social media. You can just share this link to via WhatsApp. For example, I can share this to anybody. Uh, let me share it to myself. Uh, for example, I can share it here to see how. Uh, once I type in this sheet, it will be looking like. Yeah, you can it just give the the name to your sheet. You see here it is. It is it is called the book book two. Yeah, to just to give it a name, you click on this book two. Yeah, here you click on book two to give it a name. You see, you can call it. You can call it, for example, term one or term two. Term two max collection. Maxi. Maxi collection. Yeah, this is the name. You see now changed. Once someone is uh, typing some some data, he will be entering the data in a named, in already named Excel sheet, and you can dis edit this sheet. You can edit this sheet offline. You see, I can just click on open it in a desktop. Let me try this and you see once you open it in desktop, yeah, just open Excel. It is being opened. Yeah, you see, it is now offline. I I opened it offline. You see it is offline. You can just click on file. You can print, you can save a copy. If you want to save a copy, you can just click on save. You browse in the location. You browse the location and you just save it anywhere you want. You see, once you want to keep your max offline, you just, you can open it in this desktop. You see, it is now like as if we we are on right, but it's offline. And let me back on right. You see, here it is online. I just want to. Let me use another device to type some some marks, for example, to see how the collaboration looks like. This is not a very easy way to collaborate online. Let me try another device. To use the shared link to to manage to, to manage the data to just add some data in the this excel sheet and guys you see don't waste your time just using hard copies calling somebody just bring me your data bring me your data you just share him the the sheet and he will be able to to type the, the data and the, you you and there is no need to send he will just type and you see the data immediately and you can you see it once typing once he's typing you just see he's typing and the data are entering immediately so yeah don't waste your time asking people just bring me this bring me this there is no need you just do it using yeah this way and you will correct your data easily in this way yeah let me for example uh, try using Another device, you see, I'm not typing in a in a in an online sheet that you are just seeing. Yeah, for example, you can as you see, it is now moving. Once I try to to type something, you see somebody is typing. You will see somebody is typing. You see even the names. Of this of someone who is typing, you can see the name. You see, I'm typing in mathematics. I can add, for example, uh, 
I can add something uh, like uh, once I move the cursor, you see, whatever I'm um, just click in my device, in the device that I'm using, you just see it that I'm just uh, doing something. And you see, let me, for example, add a uh, translate. I go down. You see 23 already is there. I add 50. I add uh, yeah 50 is already there. Yeah, I can uh, and I can just add 20. I can add I can add 25 or 45. I can what add whatever I want, and you see the marks. Everyone with this link will see that somebody is typing. Yeah, you see it here. I can line this to the to the right to have the same format. Yeah, you see that this is a very a very simple way to to correct the data once people are not uh, in the same place. And even if they are in the same place, but there is no need to say, just bring me this, bring me this. And you see uh, more than five, 50 people, more than 50, uh, for example, teachers are bringing you hard copies. You are asked to copy, to just type, call somebody, just read for me, read this, and we'll be typing. It is uh, somewhat boring. They can do here, even if they are at home, and you will download the sheet and immediately copy them in your report. In your report, once you are doing reports, and once you are doing, uh, you are collecting data, uh, it is very easy. You see, here data are collected in easy way online. And you have seen that to share them, you just click on sharing and sharing to everywhere. And you can just do it in this way. It is very, very easy. Yeah, guys, yeah, this is how we can correct data once we are not in the same place. Want to want to, we, we just, if we just want to do it in this way, want to just want to ease our job. Yeah, this is how we can do it. And thank you. And remember to subscribe on my YouTube channel uh, to see more videos. There are so many videos there, and remember to watch them fully and. Yeah, they are somehow educated. You, you just study many things in the videos. Yeah, so see you next time in another video. And we just like to see you commenting, adding your comments. Yeah, uh, I just suggestions, uh, whatever you can type them. We just consider every comment. And thank you. See you next time.